Hey guys! So, Friday today, yep, and uh, we just did the whole house clean. We always do that every Friday, or we're trying to do it every Friday. Hoovering the floors, and then washing the floors, and wiping all the surfaces off and all that. So it's all nice and clean for the weekend, and uh, we strive to try and keep that for every weekend. It's very nice. Um, but right now, I'm actually heading out the door. I'm going out to pick up Christian on the train, Christian Weisscher. He's coming down here to stay the weekend. Because um, he got some holiday and got nothing else to do, so I said to him, "Well, why don't you just hop on a train and come down here?" Um, so all his bedding has just been washed now for the guest room. It's an air bed, but he's fine. Um, so, yeah, that will be done a bit later, and then we're going to do a little bit of shopping at the same time. Um, so that's really, really cool. But I better get going because he's in the station in about five, ten minutes, and uh, I haven't left yet. Oh, what's up? Yeah, we got Christian in now, which is cool. We're just heading to do a little bit of shopping for the weekend. Yeah. And we're going down to look at the house tomorrow. We're going to see the inside. And uh, Christian's going to join us. Yeah, guten Tag. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew how many times you said that when we were in Germany, it was so annoying. <laughs> it was so freaking annoying. He must have said at least once every 15 minutes, all the way down there back. Except the last two hours back, because we, we made a bet with him, so I'm sure you can't keep shut up the last two hours before we get Denmark. He did, actually. <laughs> oh God, it was so annoying. Guten Tag, auf Wiedersehen. All right, we'll do some shopping. We're down by the beach, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Sally's going to water. So we're going to play some Kendama while we walk, and Sally's going to probably have a swim. So, yeah. Windy. Windy. Yeah, Sally! Sally! Go on then! This is uh, Christian's penny board. Uh, and yes, you did hear right, guys. What Christian just said. Christian wanted to have a long board, yeah. and I want to have to long have a long board. And we went on to a site in UK. It's actually called Octon Sport. And we bought a, an, um, a long board each. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. We both bought we both bought like a beginner name, which is called Mindless. They're quite cheap. Um, and uh, yeah, so I got the uh, Mindless Savage, which is made for the heavier rider, so kind of good for me. And you got the, uh, what was the name? Uh, Corsair, I yeah, think Corsair. it was. Corsair, yeah. So we bought those now, we paid for them, and they'll hopefully be shipped within maybe tomorrow if you like it, but not, if not that, maybe Monday. But Christian is about to, he's got himself a micro kendama, and I'm just showing him to actually modify it so he can actually use it. Normally this is a key ring and you can't take the ball off, but it's only put on with a little bit of wood glue so it's easy to get off. And then you just sand down um, the actual uh, can, which is the stick. Uh, you can take the serrato off, you can see he got his off there. Um, so you, you drill that so it fits and you make the hole in the bowl a little bit larger. And then you just put a little string in it and that's it. So yeah, they actually work but they're really really hard to use uh, because they're so tiny. Christian brought one of his uh, little um, penny boards. I like to get a penny board like these just to have it in collection, guys. Um, so if anyone has one, they just feel like they don't use anymore and it's in all right condition and they feel like, well, I I, I, I don't want it anymore. Um, maybe you guys could ship it to me. <laughs> um, I will, get it for free. <laughs> yeah, I want it for free. I, I want it for free. <laughs> Please. Um, the thing is... Uh, Stop. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I don't really need these. I, I think it'd just be fun to have it just for a collection. Uh, it's at a fan post. So, if anyone has one and they don't use it anymore and they don't really know what to do with it, um, feel free to send it to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I might send you something in return. I probably don't sell, send you a, maybe a, well, I don't know, maybe I'll send you a deck. I don't know. We'll see. But I won't guarantee they'll send something back. But it's all That's up to surprise. you. That's it's a surprise. Maybe you get some, maybe you don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it all depends. If you're going to send me a brand new one, I, I will probably send you something back. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, um, it was fun being on the beach. Um, we did a little kendama edit. Uh, oh, well, we didn't do an edit yet, but we recorded a little bit of kendama. And um, Christian did that, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, so he's got like a very nice kendama over there, that one there. Um, I'm going to go and show you guys. Where's Sally? Oh, she's over there. See, this one here, you can't even buy that yet. Um, this is like... Well, I think you can buy it because he got it, so you can buy it. Um, uh, but yeah, it, when he got it, it wasn't released yet in the shop. But the guy in there said, well, you can buy this one if you want it now because you like it, apparently. But he got, Christian got a lot of kendamas. He got like this one there, which is a five hole kendama. There's five holes in that one, if you look here. So one on each side. And then for someone, you think it will actually be easier. It's actually quite more tricky. Then he got this one here, which is a glow in the dark, had a lot of beating. Um, which he actually had for a birthday present. Then he bought this one, he just had that today, which is the miniature one, which I also have somewhere. Oh, mine's right there. Um, but mine's been used a bit more, so mine's a bit more shiny. His will eventually turn like that. And then he got his XL. So he got one can down more than me. Yeah. You're awesome, in it. Have you checked out his awesome split pie? You guys should go and purchase the decks here. Again, I'm doing advertising for other companies than my own. This is um, Beast Pants who make these, and you guys should definitely go and check him out. He's an awesome split ply, ply artist. Um, how he does it, I don't know. I would say you got to have some sort of laser. I mean, how the hell can you cut something out like that so fine? Look at that little spark on the bloody cigarette, and you can't even feel it. It's so unreal. It's so cool. Oops, come on, focus. Thank you. And then uh, he also have his... Old school uh, silly deck. That actually me who made this for him. It's also split ply. And he said to me, "Can you make it?" Another? He wanted a high kick, and Christian is in love with the high kick. Yeah, I love it. He he just said that everybody should buy a high kick because it's so much fun. And I know it looks extreme, but it is fun. It is fun. I I miss mine as well, but I'm riding medium now, as you guys know. Um, I'm trying to get used to it. So yeah, kind of cool. And um. I still have decks for sale. I re me and Christian just packed this one, which is going to America tomorrow as well. So thank you for you guys who was buying my decks. Still have some left, and uh, when I'm I'm starting to get sold some of the other decks, I might start making who knows maybe um some split plies and stuff, and maybe start um, putting them on there. Um, it all depends on how I feel, but um, yeah, kind of cool. But we're gonna sit down now and just chill, and relax. I don't know if we're gonna do some finger bone today. I think we'll wait till tomorrow. Um, but we got to go down and see the house tomorrow and actually view it inside. I'm really so excited about it, even though the woman said, Oh, it's dirty, so you, it, I don't want you to see it. So I want to see it now. So Christian's coming down there to watch that. Then after that, we are heading up for a friend of mine. Uh, his mum's got a birthday soon, and we need to pick up some pieces of fence to store here at our place because we've got well, our garage and stuff like that. So we can keep it there until her birthday, and then we'll take it out there. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, and then we're probably going to go to the skate park. Yeah. yeah, awesome and epic. Awesome and epic. So that's that's really really awesome. Um, but we're really excited about buying our longboards. It's just yeah. like oh, we're gonna get longboards. Yeah. And there's a funny thing about um, um, Nadja and uh, oh, I always forget his name. Uh, Andreas, I think it is. He just bought a longboard today. And the funny thing about it, he wrote to me that um, he hoped that I'll get a longboard soon because he knew I wanted to get one. <laughs> But it's just funny he wrote that to me about an hour after me and Christian actually purchased our decks uh, or longboards, which is so cool. I can't even find it now. I'm going to show you guys. He purchased an awesome little well, look, This is a loaded. I love to get a loaded, but they're more expensive than the ones we got. It's really, really nice. This is about 2,000 Danish kroner. The one we got is about 1,100. But this is really awesome. But he sent me these pictures and said that he hoped that I will get a longboard very soon because he knew I really wanted one. Funny enough, he sent me that message an hour later. You will send it for free. <laughs> send one f if you have a longboard brand new, want to send it for free? Go ahead, I might send you something in return. I might not. <laughs> Just to let the joke go, guys. <laughs> Sally's a very tired because she was in the water swimming, so she's sleeping now. We just dried her off with a couple of towels. We don't like her being all soaking wet. So. And this has been gone for almost eight minutes, so I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>